Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Monday. All right guys, so we're about to break into everything. Um, if you guys joined us today for Hot Messy topic Topics, well, thank you. I thought it was a really good one. There were so many things because we didn't do it on Friday and we were in Charleston, which we're gonna be in Charleston again this week. This is kind of like moving week for us, which is kind of crazy. It's just, a, it like does not stop. And then I feel like I can't even, I don't even want to share that it doesn't stop with people because everybody has a life that's going on and things that are happening and they're struggling with so many different things. It's like, you just don't even want to share that. So you want to sit here and just like reel and like go through the motions by yourself. And I think that's probably not the best way to do it. But here we go again. Now, before we jump in, you guys know my little mantra here. Smash that like button, show some love, get subscribed. Here we go. All right, guys. So we're going to start with the Jackson Brittany of it all because hmm, Brittany Cartwright is just coming out swinging which that's what I like about her. She claims her estranged husband, Jax Taylor, was partying and staying out late before their recent separation. Can I just say, why the fuck, excuse my French, would you think it's a great idea to support this business of Jax's Studio City Sports Bar? What did you think? This is the easiest, especially for somebody who has been known to be a cheater, somebody who has known to like get like wild. This is the easiest way for him to go out before he didn't have a sports bar. So he could just be like, hey, babe, I want to go hang out with friends. You know, what do you think? Jax, I need you to be home with the kids tonight, like the, our son. Like, I need you here. Oh, okay. Well, your son's not going to take priority or your friends aren't going to take priority over your son. Now that it's a sports bar, he can say, I have to go see the business. I got to That's what I do. How do you think that it's going to stay popular and how we're going to make money? I need to be there. So I need to show up. I need to hang out. I need to see people. I need to interact. It's like, what a win-win for Jax. Anyways, back to it. During an interview this week, as she promoted the debut season of The Valley, Brittany opened up about the problems she and Jax were having before she moved out, admitted that she woke up to his behavior after welcoming their son, Cruz, in April of 2021, and suggested that Jax put her through a lot during their marriage. I'm solo now. It's feeling really pretty refreshing, is what she said on air with Ryan Seacrest. I've been moved out since January 24th, and I know to the world that seems very new, but I've been going through a lot in our relationship for a long time. But while Brittany admitted that she and Jax haven't discussed getting back together quite yet, she said there's four things that need to happen before she consider any such thing. I can't say every single one of them, but there was things like, I think we should go to therapy together. And he goes back and forth. Sometimes he acts like he's down with it. Other times he doesn't. We're just fighting a lot. No fighting in front of my son whatsoever, but partying, staying out too late, things like that. I wonder if, mm, I have an idea what one of the things is. As Vanderpump Rules fans well know, Jax and Brittany opened a new bar in Los Angeles, Jax's Studio City, last year, which likely did not help with Jax's late night antics. I'm finally putting myself first a little bit, is what she said. We've had a great relationship, and it's just after having a child, I kind of woke up and saw more things than I did in the past. Also, again, not surprising. Now, although Brittany couldn't give away too much about the split, um, apparently we're going to see a lot of this on the Valley, or at least what led up to it. But she did say the show is going to be a lot more relatable. Janet was pregnant all season. There's so many different types of relationships that are going on. There are people who are fighting, people who are on the edge of separation, which we know that one of the couples already announced that they are getting a divorce. It's not just Brittany and Jax. I believe it's Jesse and Michelle. They confirmed their separation. There's just a lot of things that are going on. But she also added that there's a lot of really positive, funny moments, and there's a lot of drama. So just because they're all parents now doesn't mean that it's going to be a stale show. And by the way, she did say that crazy Kristen, like we know Kristen Doty's a main cast member, but crazy Kristen makes a couple of appearances. Lots of different things. It's always awesome to show our other friends because 
we're so wrapped up in the Vanderpump Rules world, people are going to realize we don't just have that one group of friends. We have a lot of people that are really amazing here, and I'm just really excited for them. I just think the show is going to be so good. Oh, huh. okay. We've got a show. Now wait, we're not done. Heather DeBro. Oof. All right. Now everybody's been wondering about what she did with her money from the the sale of her fifty-five million dollar home in Newport Beach. You guys remember that? All of that cash, which is ridiculous. Now fans of the show will recall that they sold her and Terry DeBro their fifty-five million dollar home and moved into another property during an episode up the Real Housewives of Orange County, Terry DeBro said, Heather and I have put our blood, sweat, and tears into this house. And I used to feel like I wanted to be buried in the backyard. I never wanted to leave. But I strangely feel like it's not mine anymore. And I'm absolutely okay with it. Yeah, he sounded like he was really sad about it. He said, I just want to thank this house in 55 million different ways. I'm going to miss it very much. That's what he said at BravoCon 2023 and also on the show. But she revealed some details about the recent sale and discussed what the couple did with the money, the $55 million. During the BravoCon panel, the way we OC it, Heather and her cast members reflected, and Danny Pellegrino was the one who was the host of this panel. Um, he asked her about the pricey home sale and asked if she had any huge purchases from the substantial amount of cash. Gina prompted her to show everyone the huge diamond sparkler Terry had given her. But um, after that, of course, it's not just going to be about a big diamond. She explained that they've recently been looking for new projects to do, and they bought this really cool, iconic house in Beverly Hills that they're redoing it. But she said it's a bit of a project, but it is a legendary home. Now, when Danny asked her whether she had informed her castmates about the sale, she adamantly replied, definitely not. Um, and I do not regret it. She said, when it comes to the new season, she doesn't know if she can do this anymore. But she also said that last season. So who knows? I think that, as first of all, this money, Kelly Dodd said it right. In this instance, Heather DeBro is one of the few people, just like Lisa Vanderpump, Adrian Maloof, obviously Bethany Frankel, but some of the few people, Dr. Tiffany Moon definitely didn't need it. Some of the few people who just really came on to the show and they don't need the money. So if it's not fun for them, they're not having a good time, then why would you go back? And I still think personally that Heather DeBro is trying to gun for a spot on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills as opposed to the Real Housewives of Orange County. But what do I know? I'm just saying. Now, I want to hear, again, your opinions on that. But really, going back to the Jackson Brittany of it all, she said that there's four things. Therapy, intimacy. I know that this is shady as hell. What do you think the last two things are? Couples therapy, intimacy. Not staying out late and partying. I guess that would be the three. I'm curious if you guys, I just want to know where the mind goes. That's all. I'm not alluding to anything, by the way. Just to say that, I'm not alluding. But guys, pop off in the comment section. If you did not catch us for Hot Messy Topics today at 12 p.m., then definitely go be a part of the replay crew. That was um, up in Adam main channel, channel one. And um, yeah, this is going to be one hell of a week. So stick with us and uh, we'll keep you posted. Love you guys. See you next time.